herbal medicine. This medicine is accessible to every single one of us. It is safe, it is super effective, and it has amazing powers. When you take this medicine, you feel instantly happier, you feel more confident. If you continue to take it, you're gonna feel stronger and you can even live longer. If you haven't guessed what it is, it is called exercise. I'm sure you guessed it. Throughout the years, I want to count on the amount of people that come to me. Most people, they want to lose weight, they want to drop some inches, they want a six pack, and even some bigger muscles. Now these are great goals, but in today's world where social media filters and edits dominate the perception of fitness, exercise is often marketed to our younger generation, to the lean fit bodies, and sometimes unattainable perfection. But what no one is seeing is what really matters. What really matters is staying stronger, maintaining our muscles so we can live independent as long as possible as we age. What really matters is staying healthy physically, but also mentally. So I work with different types of people, different ages, from children to my athletes to my 103-year-old person right here in our local town of Visalia. And I'm going to share a few of my stories. I have a 79-year-old woman that I work with. First came to me because she was unable to get off the toilet by herself. She's lost her strength and her independence was slipping away. Then there's my 67-year-old man that over the course of three months suffered from multiple falls. He's lost his balance and his confidence. Then there's my 44-year-old woman going through hormonal changes and she's going through anxiety and depression. These represent a small fraction of what we're dealing with in our society. According to the Centers of Disease Control and Prevention, 25% of American adults are completely sedentary. They're inactive, which now sitting is considered new smoking, according to Dr. James Levine, professor of medicine of the Mayo Clinic. So we're in a crisis. Also, we deal with falls. Falls are the leading cause of injury-related death for adults over 60 and older. Going up this last decade, it's increased about 41%. There is also something we're dealing with, if anyone's heard of it, it's called sarcopenia, which is a thief of muscle strength and muscle function. So how I describe it, you use it or you lose it. That's right, you lose it. So in case you want to know, we start our aging process about the age of 35. That's when aging starts happening. That's a natural process that we all go through, and we start losing 3 to 5% of muscle every decade if we don't use it. But again, it is preventable and even reversible. All it takes is a little bit of activity two, three days a week, maybe some body weight squats, add a little muscle, and you're going to get some benefits for the rest of your life. Now we also face a crisis, mental health. Well, exercise is the best weapon against mental health disease. Exercise will help with mood disorder. It will help with sleep. It will help with anxiety. It will help with depression. And I know this in first hand because exercise saved my life. 25 years ago, I found myself in a deep depression. I lost hope, I lost joy, and I even lost my appetite. I suffered from an eating disorder that took over my life pretty much and almost my life. But one day I was invited into this group exercise class. And that day it changed my life. Instantly I became, so I kept going back for more. After that, every time and every day that I kept going, I got mentally stronger and physically stronger. I knew that in order to get healthy and to do exercise, I had to make sure I filled my body. So I got physically healthy, physically stronger, and mentally stronger. Exercise became my therapy that I needed 
time to face my challenges head on where I can now help others do the same. But I don't want to talk about me. I want to go back to my stories. So the 79-year-old woman that I was talking about, well, over the period of six months, she was able to gain her strength. Her muscles were functioning, and she was able to walk independently by herself. Then my 67-year-old man, well, over the course of six months, we worked on his balance and also on his strength, and he was feeling confident and independent. He had no issues with falls. And then 44-year-old woman, just like me, uses exercise as a form of self-care, as a way of coping through the stress of everyday life, because nobody has stress these days, right? So these are some examples that, as you can see, none of these people have big muscles, none of these people have six-pack, However, all these people change their life, and you can too. So I'm going to leave here giving you a few tips today that anyone can make some big changes to their life. Number one, as we know, move our body, right? Exercise. Just a few days a week, two to three days a week is all you need. If you don't know what to do, start one mile a day. If that's too much, half a block. A little block, walk around your house. If you can't walk, you can sit down and lose your body. It's just starting. Just start where you're at. Number two, best nutrition tip of all time. Everyone knows it, but a few people do it. Drink water. It goes hand in hand with your exercise. Your body and your skin will thank you. And number three, just eat real foods, pick quality foods. And I promise that if you follow these three, Chips, you're going to benefit for the rest of your life. Yeah, I'm going to just give you a thought right now. And I want you to fast forward 10 years, some of you maybe need 20 years, and think about your future. What your future holds with your health in regards of your mental health, your mobility, and your independence. And that might help you or inspire anyone to make some changes. Remember, where exercise is preventative medicine. You just need a small dose every single day. Thank you.